I'm about to head out, so uh, always remember this. One travel tip. Before you leave, always kiss your girl goodbye. Let's roll out of here. Now you take some advice here from old Alan Odinson in the war wagon. When you're out in a dark, stormy day and some wild-eyed, eight-foot-tall maniac grabs you by the throat and slams the back of your favorite head up against the bar room wall and he asks you, have you paid your dues? Have you paid your dues, Odinson? You stare that guy right back in the eye and you tell him, yes, sir, the check is in the mail. That's, that's big trouble in little China for you losers out there. <laughs> Gandalf up here driving. You shall not pass. Damn, this looks like home here. <laughs> this looks like right down from my, my house. <laughs> well, I'm in North Kakalaki now. I just crossed in. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> I should have recognized south of the border, but shit, we killing this trip, y'all. All right, dude, so we're out here at the Grave Farm finally. I'm here. But, uh, this is my boy right here. Let me tell you something. You're looking right here at two of the baddest motherfuckers you're going to run into. You may not think it. Now, he's may have lost like 20% of his efficiency because he cut his hair. <laughs> yeah. But these are two bad motherfuckers. We, The two of us fight a whole fucking army. Hell yeah. <laughs> what? I don't think Alan Odinson stays at the Super 8, do you? <laughs> no, no, no. High class stays high class. Only five stars for me, baby. Don't walk in the fatal funnel. I'm not what you would call a well-seasoned traveler, but I did find out that they have like complimentary razors and stuff at the front desk at some hotels. Didn't know that, forgot my razor. Bro, I'm gonna tell you what, there's somebody walking around above me, sounds like they're fucking stomping bugs. Jesus Christ, you heavy foot, peg leg, some bitch. Alrighty, 6 a.m. <laughs> Did I have to get up this early? No. But I need to get my body moving. I'm gonna go get a quick workout in, grab some breakfast, and, uh, Get set to go. I did not sleep well. Didn't think I was going to sleep well, to be honest with you, because I never sleep well in a hotel. So, but we're going to make it work. <laughs> Joys of being an older man, we got uh, our nice little bag of supplements here to try to take every morning. It's always important to begin your morning with inspiration, surround yourself with positive energy to meet the day. I'm telling you right now, it's better than a cup of coffee. All right, let's go do the damn thing. I am stoked. Let's get it rolling. So you can see I'm now looking over top of my arrow. So I'm here. What's that? Okay. That's part of the learning experience. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, that thumb grip. I told, I told everybody this was gonna happen. There it is. We're looking for three hits, but we're also looking for speed. So fast is fine, accuracy is final. I still want to see those arrows hitting their mark, but I want to see them at a good cadence down range. That's the one. You kept it locked, didn't you? Yeah, I yeah. focus in. It's just like no matter what I focus on, the other technique kind of, yep. it's all there's so many movements to go. Just to realize it. Let's keep going. Even if you get even if you get it and you go up and you get like a good feel on it, if the arrow doesn't feel right, still let it go because if you are fighting against the enemy, 
it's better to harass them than not take a shot at all. So even if it doesn't feel right, they'll still let it go. That one went a little low. Keep your thumb down. Ready? Try back. Nice. <laughs> nice. They have like the dragon scale hand guards. So the biggest issue is people have them going through their hands. And I like the idea of it, but um, I didn't want anything going through my hands. So I was like, the dragon scale ones, man, they'll penetrate. They'll put a hole in there. Most of the guys shoot them for like 10 yards. I'm not shooting at 10 yards. So I made my own little bit of armoring work here. 16 gauge steel out of there. Hook it on. You're going this way, right? Yeah, I'm going right over there. Ready? Yep. I'm going to back up. I'm going to give you some more time, dude. All right, give me a second. You better catch this thing. Dude, there's no way I'm catching this thing. <laughs> well, we just finished up our class out here. What an awesome class, man. Great group of people. I saw great improvement from start to finish. Just an absolute blast. Can't wait to do it again. Man, uh, God, you guys that didn't make it, you missed out. I will say this, just as I thought, I think that class kicked a lot of ass, uh, kicked a lot of people's ass. <laughs> it was a pretty strenuous class. Um, we had a few people check out about midway, but uh, overall, man, just great. Met several of my customers that came up. We hung around, we taught jujitsu and guns, man, it was great. You guys, uh, you, I can't just keep stressing, you missed out. I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. But you know what? The day ain't done yet because I'm getting ready to go grab a shower, just a quick little uh, cool down period, and I'm going to go hang with the boys for a little bit. Well, that's going to be a wrap. <laughs> we are getting set. We got the room all cleaned up here. Try to always leave it close to how, I, how it arrived when I arrived here. Um, also, remember before you leave, whenever you're staying in a hotel room, before you leave, always remember to tip the cleaning service.